Hello everybody, this is on the outskirts of Vancouver, about a half an hour in line, and I know it's kind of dark and laid out, but I'm just finishing up on a banana tree project. I cut down the trees down to about three, three and a half feet high, and inside the bags, hopefully it's clear enough. Inside the bags, I stuffed them with all, I cut a hole, just enough for the trunk, shoved it all with a bunch of maple leaves, and on the bottom, all the way around is maple leaves and the banana leaves, and I got three, well, four major stalks to deal with. So, now because the wind could blow all this away down on the bottom here on my ground insulation, as you can see here, I taped it up pretty good around here and from three foot high going back to last year I got 15 foot high leaves it looked awesome so my fourth one here kinda hard to see I gotta tape that up a little bit better and shove some more leaves in it so I'm gonna go to tell you what I did with this little baby that I took out you look over here, I got one baby by itself on a transplant. I did about three weeks ago. And I got a plastic bag that's full of maple leaves because I ran out of banana leaves. And I put some bricks around it and then I took that, uh, that weed tarp stuff that you put to protect your flowers and shit like that for weeds growing up. And it's going to sit like that all winter. And it's going to grow up to be a big bastard. So that's what I'm going to do for the area that I just showed you. Plus here's another area. There was two trees that was so close together that I ran it on the same plastic. I did plastic up, did a cutout, and then a big plastic bag over. I used the heavy duty expensive plastic bags because I don't want to burn out the leaves or burn out the trees. Put leaves under, leaves over banana leaves I stuffed them all in the bottom and I used the maple leaves dried maple leaves inside you can use any kind of dried leaves but don't do them wet that's not my recommendation this one here is part of my project to finish on it's November 15th 16th 2014 just outside of Vancouver BC and with all this ground covering and with the weed tarping that I did to this one by itself, I'm going to do it to the two clusters. These things are going to grow up to another 15 or 16 feet tall with all the big beautiful leaves, maybe even more. On this, this one here, from one of these ones, I believe from the mother here, I got this. You can see the baby bananas, they're all dead from the frost and our climate doesn't allow bananas to grow but if it did, we have a good 50 or 60 bananas because there was some that's not on this cutout. And this bulb, big heavy bulb here is just a flower. Pretty sweet stuff to do. I'm going to post this on YouTube to help other people that are growing around Vancouver and covering up their stuff. Signing out. This is Frog Lobster's channel.